Hi, y'all. I'm Billie Jean. Um, I'm somewhat new to the group. Somewhat-ish. Um, sorry, I'm going to cover this so y'all don't hear my daughter running. Um, this is my curly hair straight out of my braid that I sleep in. I've not done anything to it. I styled it yesterday. Had my hair colored for the first time yesterday. So, um, I brought all my stuff with me to the salon and did my hair like I normally do afterwards. So last night I always put some leave-in in, in it and some oil, braid it into just a big braid and that's how I go to bed. So this is it just coming out of that. Um, so I thought that I would show some of you all that are new that have the same hair type as me, which I think I'm like a 2B. Um, it's curlier underneath and then like a more of a wave pattern on top. Um, very thick, very coarse hair. I have a lot of Native American in my blood, so that's where I get all that from. Um, I put an obnoxious amount of stuff in my hair to get it to maintain what I want. Um, this much product on really thin, fine hair, it's not going to be good. What I use is specifically for my hair, and like I said, I have 2B um, curl. I have very, 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 very thick, very long, very coarse hair. So it needs a lot of moisture and a lot of product to get it to do what I want it to do and to stay that way for an entire day. Because I'm also a mom, so I'm running around constantly with my kids, and I'm also a photographer. So I am always outside um, doing photo shoots. And so it's super humid here in Kentucky. So um, I'm trying to make it to where I don't have to like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, hold on. I'm literally balancing my phone on my soap dispenser. There, is that? So anyways, um, first I wet my hair and I get it really, really wet. Um, and inside the water, I also put a few drops of the Righteous Roots Pre-Poo Detangler just because I feel like that helps kind of when I go to brush my hair out. I do brush my hair one time with my wet brush. I've tried every comb out there. I've tried combing in the shower. I've tried combing out of the shower. I've tried the wet brush comb. It does not work for my hair. I have to use this specific wet brush and it has to be have wet hair and I have to put my leave in in it so I have enough slip for it to go through so anyways a lot of these parts I'm gonna fast forward through when I actually edit this so I'm just gonna fast forward through this part you're gonna see my lips moving really fast but you won't actually hear me because all I'm doing is wet my hair wet 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 playing again now so you'll be able to hear me then I get my hair clip um, it's been through a lot <laughs> I should probably buy a new one but every time I go to the store I forget um, so I section off my hair and I do my hair like this I section it off of course there's knots so I've got to kind of pluck through them here I uh, put this section up here clip it away and this, I do all of my hair in sections like this. So that way when I get to the top part, that's my last part to do, and then I'm completely done for the day. So, let me get a drink. I'm really tired. So, I'm gonna wet again, because usually the roots up here underneath don't get wet whenever I spray it, all my hair down. So, that's why I like to spray it again once I've got it sectioned off. So. Next, I'm going to kind of run my hands through it, and I'm going to take my Not Your Mother's Detangler and just kind of, well, it'll work. I'm going to spray it in my hair here, make sure it's evenly distributed. There we go. Then, I'm going to kind of squeeze it in. Then, my baby. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. It gives my specific hair type the very best slip. It is the Shea Moisture Strengthening and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I have not found anything else, and believe me, I have tried almost everything there is out there so far. This is all that gets my hair to where I need it to have slip so I can comb through it. Because I was not combing in the beginning, I was just doing fingers combing, 
and my hair looked like a sort of maintained rat's nest. Like it was just nappy, 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 nappy. Not cute at all. So I knew I could do better. I knew I needed to do better. So um, since my hair can handle a lot of moisture, that's what I do. <laughs> so I get that good and in there. Set this to the side. Now I also like to apply a little bit more water to it once I put that in. That way you don't get the funky white spots in your hair. This just kind of helps make sure that it actually seeps into your hair. Um, some people call it squish to condish. Um, I call it, I don't want my hair looking like I've got dandruff. So <laughs> I make sure I put water on it to make sure that it absorbs into my hair good. So next step, I've got my, of course, my microfiber towel. I just keep it with me because I wipe my hands with it and then I put it all. So then I'm going to put some hair milk in. Shea Moisture curling style milk. Again, Shea Moisture is my favorite because I do not have to worry. I mean, I still check the ingredients just to be safe and make sure they haven't thrown a curveball in there. But for 99% of the time, Shea Moisture is CG safe, always. So it's kind of my go-to. Shea Moisture and Cantu are my go-tos. But I still always, always check the ingredients. And I just kind of rub that in. That was about a dime size for this section of my hair. Then my Cantu Curl Activator. And while I'm kind of in the middle of doing all this, I'm still gonna start scrunching. I wanna get those curls activated and going. This is gonna help activate them. Again, just about a dime size. This stuff is kind of like a freaky science experiment. You'll put a dime size in, and I swear to you, it's like it keeps procreating in your hands. So believe me when I say all you need for sections of your hair is like a dime size because it just keeps going, keeps going, and keeps going. See, it's still on my hands. <laughs> so, um, and usually here, I like to go ahead and spray a little bit more water in just to make sure that we absorb everything into the hair good. And we're squishing and crunching. Next is my Define and Shine Custard. This stuff, if you read the ingredients, like I did not in the beginning, I was using it wrong, but if you read the ingredients, the Define and Shine Custard from Cantu wants you to put it on soaking wet hair. That is why I use it on this step, because I've applied my water, I've applied my detangler, I've combed out my hair, I've got my curl patterns started, I've got them activated with this. Now I want to define those curl patterns, so that's when I apply this. But again, we want to make sure our hair is plenty wet. And I got this on Amazon. It's just the, it starts with an FL Florister Spray, I don't know. I'll put a link to it in the comments whenever I post this. So rub it in your hands good. It was about a quarter size and you're just going to kind of rake it through and then shake. Um, I think it's Weedod, Weedod, however you pronounce that. Um, they call it rake and shake. She is she, he, I don't know if that's she or he. I just know I've watched a bunch of videos and they call it rake and shake. Rake and shake. Um, it apparently helps activate the curls. So there you go. And you can see the curls are really starting to pop out. So that's that step. I told y'all, a lot of steps here. So yesterday I got my hair done for the first time in forever, over a year. Super excited. It turned out amazing. Um, but the best part about it was my beautician got me the hookup on Diva Curl products. So now I am using the Diva Poo, um, No Poo, and the One Conditioner and the Original um, formula. And then I also got my Archangel gel, and I am obsessed with this, and I'll tell you why when I get to that step. Next step is the Love Yourself, Love Your Curls, and I just use a little bit of this, and I mix it with my Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft. No, that's Jelly Soft. Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. I just kind of mix it together. Again, we want to define my curls, because my curls have a habit of wanting to go kaput during the day because I am so active, I'm outside a lot, the humidity hits it, sweat gets it, moving around gets it, so, and my hair can handle a lot of product. Your hair may not be like that, so please don't do this to your hair if your hair cannot handle a lot of product. You will look a hot mess. Alright, so, da -da -da -da. Archangel, y'all, it. I was worried because sometimes, you know, you're like, is it really going to be all that it cracked up to be? But it is. For my hair, I like that it is more of a water-based um, gel. 
I'll kind of squeeze it out. You can see it's very water-based and it's very gel consistency. It's not a cream and it's very watery. So I like that better because I feel like that's really gonna absorb into my curls better. Um, and it smells really good. It smells like fruity bubble gum. <laughs> like juicy fruit or something, you know? Um, so I'm gonna get that in there, squish it real good. That was about a quarter size. I don't know if y'all saw it, but that's all I'll use. There we go. Now we will get my second to last step. I mix my, my, my hardcore gels here. Now, again, this is something for my hair that works best for me. All of this product on somebody else's hair might not work, but for me, it does. I mix together the Eco Green Stuff called Professional Styling Gel Olive Oil. I like that because olive oil really makes my hair look less frizzy. And then I mix together the Eco Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil because that's got a lot of crud in it that's good for your hair. All these are CG safe. I did have them checked before I started. And then this one I'm going to rub together and we're going to do praying hands. Now, I heard someone say one time, your hair is a battlefield and not a landscape. There is no man left behind, no curl left behind when you're applying gel. You want to make sure that every piece of curl gets gel on it because this is really what's going to define those curls and make them stay looking good, girl. So, again, rub it together and pray in hands. And then we're going to squish. You hear all that squishiness? You can hear it squishing. It's good. That means it's absorbing into your hair. All right, so now I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm going to try to squish and get any excess product that'll kind of help get the excess out. So there you have it. There's that. Yeah, that's my girls. <laughs> so I am going to go through and do the rest of my head and then I'll start the video back up once I'm at my top layer so you can see kind of like the finished product. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, I don't have anywhere to be for a while, so we're gonna just let it air dry. Normally, uh, if I had somewhere to go, I would diffuse it. Um, never, ever, ever just blow dry your curly hair. Uh, I have just like one of those generic universal diffusers that you that are black and like you hook it on at the end of your blow dryer. Um, and then I just, I usually do my roots with that and I just hold the diffuser on different sections. And then I take it up and just kind of hold it like this on my hair. But for the most part, I just like to make sure I've got all the excess moisture with my microfiber towel. And I like to let it air dry when I can because I like to use as little heat as possible. Um, finally, now that I'm done with all, you can see how wet my hair, my shirt is. Um, now that I'm done with all my products, that's a lot. Um, the last thing that I do is put oil on it and then I can't touch my hair anymore. That's the hardest part. I just talked about that in the group yesterday. It's so hard for me to not touch my hair once. Oh, this, okay. Anyways, this first oil is um, Rosarco oil. Briogeo, I think it's how it's pronounced. Briogeo Rosarco oil. I just like to finish with oils um, to kind of lock in the moisture, lock in frizzies. Yeah, it smells good. So that's that one. Briogeo, Briogeo Rosarco oil. It smells yummy. But my personal favorite, oh my gosh, y'all. This, Madam C.J. Walker Brassica Seed Oil. Holy guacamole, y'all. It is just, my hands are all greasy from the hair products, so give me a second here. Anyways, here we go. Mm, it's the cleanest, lightest, just amazing smell ever and this one I like to rub in really good and I put it on my front pieces here and then I re-squish and then I go to this side and then I put it on my front pieces here and I re-squish and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna give it all a good fluffy fluff because I don't I don't like my part to be like super even 
I want it to kind of look like a semi-managed mess. So, um, and throughout the drying today, I'll kind of flop my hair around. Um, this helps get volume in there. Also, whenever I'm applying my products, I stay away from my roots when at all possible. Um, enough of it's going to work its way up there just from where you're touching your hair accidentally. So try not to put any extra product up there. Because we co-wash and we more than likely, if you're anything like me, you several days in between washes, you're just naturally going to get buildup and grease here about your roots. Don't do anything to add to that. So don't apply product directly to your roots, except for maybe a little bit of oil to keep like the frizzies at bay. Um, if anybody has any questions, just leave a question in the comments and I am more than happy to um, answer them to the best of my ability. I am on week six of completely CG. Um, however, I've worked this entire year towards this process by um, in January, I quit straightening my hair and I was only curling it. And then, or bra mainly braiding it though. 90% of the time I wore my hair in braids. Um, and I started taking better care of my hair and then I went completely CG six weeks ago. So I celebrated yesterday by getting my hair colored for the first time in over a year and you can't really see it when it's wet so I'll post a better picture when it's dry but I got a caramel balayage. I went all over with my normal natural black. I'm naturally black hair and then I added some caramel balayage. So anywho, um, I hope this helps out anybody who has hair like mine. Um, other than that, have a blessed day. Thank you.